was supposed to be play ball at Wrigley Field today, but the team's home opener with the Pirates was postponed. Instead of baseballs, it was snowballs flying in the infield. CBS 2's Jim Williams is live at Wrigley. Jim. Erica, they'll try to get the home opener in at 1.20 tomorrow for a number of fans today. They didn't know the game had been postponed until they got here. Minutes after the announcement, we had to break the disappointing news to several fans walking to the ballpark. No Cub opener today. Did you hear the game's postponed? It better not be. It is. Is it really? Yeah, till tomorrow. No way. Dead serious. No I'm, way. Postponed till 1.20 tomorrow. Ugh. Great, because we drove from Cincinnati. Yeah. <laughs> you drove from Cincinnati? Yeah, because it's our birthdays. Yeah. Oh. And we, I wanted to surprise him with the Cubs game. I just drove two hours to get here. Oh, no. You got to be kidding me. I, I wish I were. Long trips made, expensive parking paid for. I haven't been to Wrigley Field in like five years. Really? Yeah. And you picked this day of I all know, days. right? Shoveling inside the ballpark, snowmen outside it. Leave it to the philosopher king of Chicago, WXRT's Lynn Bramer, to quote the poet Keats. But anticipation is greater than realization, and nowhere is that more true than today in Wrigleyville. <laughs> Still, Wrigleyville watering holes were packed. What are you going to do in the next couple hours? I'm going to keep drinking. Across the street from the ballpark, those at this new complex chose to look at the bright side. There could be worse things than being in Chicago with a bunch of friends and drinks in front of you. Now, a lot of fans wanted to know why wait so long to postpone the game. This is what Cubs spokesman Julian Green said in a statement. Snow was projected to end this morning, but the lake effect brought additional accumulation, which hampered our efforts to get the field prepared. When it was determined we couldn't get the field ready with the continued snow showers, we rescheduled the game. So we'll try again tomorrow. Live outside Wrigley Field, Jim Williams, CBS 2 News. Erica? Okay, Jim, thank you.